Hello folks, this is Kiki doing Army Man World at War, Lance and Air, Part 7. Well, what I intended to do originally kind of blew up in my face. Uh, that darn filming industry uh, overtaking everything uh, and ruining all my plans. Uh, who knew that just because Panzer Lead is uh, Creative Commons uh, considering, I mean, it was created in 1945 by the German army, that because they decided to use it in a, in a war propaganda movie, that they think that they have to, that nobody else can use it. Well, that's really selfish of them, isn't it? Anyway, uh, what I went ahead and did is I just took out the music here, and, uh, I was going to share some of my uh, Mario Composer music too with it, but unfortunately none of them was really themely for this sort of segment here, and I kind of wasn't uh, in the mood for it when I redid this video. Uh, like I said, uh, if it gives content ID error again, I'm I, like I said, I removed all the tracks on there that I had on there, uh, so this is just my voice, so uh, content ID, go F yourself. Uh, but anyway, uh, back to where I was going. Uh, I tried a Sega emulator today and uh, didn't want to record, so I gotta find another emulator to try out. It did record the background music, but didn't record the gameplay. Uh, and uh, what's going on here in Army Man is this is that town that we were bombing. This is the second part of it, or rather the first part where we've entered the town. Uh, basically, we rehook we were rehooked up with the uh, first tank battalion. And now we're uh, taking this uh, tank and that would that could have been damaged or abandoned or something, and going ahead and just t taking over the city, picking up uh, members of the first battalion as we go. Pretty much, this is why I wanted to use Panzer Lead is because this entire level is focused around you being in a tank. Uh, hence the relevance, but it didn't work, so nothing I can do there. Like I said, there isn't really much to this level. It's just all uh, auto scrolling. And like I said, it is kind of a pain in the butt. And I wish that the music industry would. The uh, same thing with like this new. Uh, whatever gaming corporation or whatever the things well the moment that a new game of a series comes out they have to copyright all of the old games uh, from like years and stuff like imagine like uh, somebody uh, nowadays like let's say I wanted to have an Atari game uh, called Pong I mean you know, just you know play Pong play Pong on it uh, and then all of a sudden, well, they come up with Xbox Live, with Pong, or uh, Nintendo, and then so we came out with with a new remake of Pong. Uh, basically, pretty much meaning that uh, the way it is nowadays, that most people can't even get Pong. <laughs> uh, a little annoying and a little unfair, and. Uh, I mean, pretty much the average lifespan of a game is maybe five, five, six years at the most, and then the next generation's already out, and new games are out. I mean, sure, if it's a remake, sure, but uh, just because it has a, one part of the name in it, you shouldn't copyright all of it. You should let people play the old games, uh, especially since like during the 1980s and early 1990s there was a lot of games that was uh 
it had a trade ban, trade embargo between Japan and uh, the United States. Uh, so the Japanese had a lot of Nintendo games that we didn't have, and even even to this day with MMOs and stuff, they still have a lot of games that you really wanted to play and you wanted to hear about, and yet you can't play them for whatever silly, stupid reason, and they won't let people bring them back out. It becomes too much of a hassle or whatnot, or licensing and whatnot. Like I understand, you know, you want to make your money and whatnot, but at a certain point, it, it kind of either it's not going to be selling anymore, it's just going to be in a uh, rental shop or you know, like pawn shop, uh, destroyed, rented. You know, it, it's nobody's buying it anymore. There's there's no there's no more need for income for it. So uh, I sorry for ruffling some feathers with that that comment. If you're a game designer and whatnot, but seriously, uh, it's the same thing with the music industry. Like I I can understand you know if some guy was alive and had his music played. Okay, fine. Like, uh, if Elvis Presley was still alive and he was still doing concerts and whatnot, okay, fine. I can understand you co copywriting his music. But take something like Panzer Lead, which was 1945, and there's uh, nobody alive anymore or, or dying. That generation is dying pretty much. Uh, there is, and just because you use it in a movie does not give you, it should not give you the right to just own it forever. Uh, it should become free use at that point in time. Uh, I mean, there's already uh, laws out there about people being able to take an existing idea and improve upon it. Uh, you have to get a new patent for you know improving a product. Uh, and of course, there's uh, parody laws and, and First Amendment speeches, which uh, you know the whole thing with the Team Four Star and all, and the abridged stuff. It, it just seems kind of silly. Anyway, this is Kinky signing out and just kind of ranting this video. Uh, so see you later.